What is going on guys? My name is George and welcome to the top 5 players of the group stages and round of 16. This World Cup has had everything. Bad refs, great goals, um, a lot of uh, flops as, as well. Um, just everything. Dramatic matches, just everything. Brazil has been crazy. We are now in the quarterfinals of course. We have, we're down to the last 8 teams and this is going to be my top 5 players so far in the World Cup. So let's get started and of course this is just my opinion. So you know this is just what I think uh, so far in the World Cup. So on number 5 we've got Karim Benzema, the striker for, from France and also from Real Madrid. 4 matches, 3 goals and 2 assists. Was not expecting him to do good in this World Cup at all. Even though he is uh, the best striker from France. So, you know, he had to step up. He had to be the man. And I think he has done it. Three goals, two assists. I think that is very, very good. Um, you know, he, he I think he scored two goals in one match. So, you know, he didn't score goals throughout the other matches. But... Uh, you know, I just think he, he is a very good striker in Real Madrid. I don't think they're going to let him go but, uh, with the way he has been playing. So definitely for me, he has to be number five in, uh, in, the, in these top five. Of course, like I said, we still have the quarterfinals to be played. Some of the finals and the final, of course. So these are just uh, from the round of 16 and the uh, group stages that I'm basing off. Uh, um, you know for the best players so number four we've got Thomas Mueller this guy German player I think he, I believe he already has nine goals eight or nine goals in uh, in the World Cup like together you know from the last from in 2010 and this one I think he's already got eight or nine goals that is just unbelievable and he is a very young player so he could definitely beat Ronaldo's and uh, close his record I think he is going to he is gonna be able to do it four matches four goals and two assists uh, I think a couple of those goals were kind of an easy tap in goals but still you know he, this guy had to be the man up front for Germany since uh, they don't have too many good strikers, I mean, that is just uh, kind of weird to say, right? Germany not having good strikers, but yes, uh, you know, their best thing, you know, their uh, their forte, I guess, is uh, the midfield. You know, great left mids, great right mids, uh, center, center defensive mids and center mids. But up top, they're just not that good. So, but Miller has stepped up, definitely. Number three, then we've got Neymar. Neymar, this guy, four matches, four goals, no assists, but all the eyes all the pressure is on him for Brazil, the host nation, and he has stepped up. He has actually stepped up, and he has uh, not gotten um, overwhelmed by the pressure, it looks like. You know, he's been playing very good. Um, um, four goals, I mean, no assists, but still, uh, he has helped Brazil to win some matches, and... Uh, I think Neymar is going to keep on scoring. Oh, they're going to go against Colombia in the in the quarterfinals. I do wish that Colombia goes through to the next round, to the semifinals. But I think Neymar is going to have a good game as well. So, you know, um, I really didn't think he was going to step up. I honestly didn't think he was going to step up for Brazil. Being, you know, seen as he is basically the best player in Brazil right now. So that he's going to be number three. Then number two has to be Lionel Messi for me, the best player in the world. Uh, I don't want to ca cause any, uh, you know, controversy, whatever, you know. But I do believe he is better than Ronaldo just by a little bit. Um, so I would put him at number one in the world. And in the World Cup, uh, maybe he didn't start off that good. But he has four goals and one assist now. And, uh, you know, he is, again, another player that has just been very, his on, you know, it's just on pressured, very pressured by the media, by everybody. Again, kind of like Neymar, all eyes are on Messi. And, of course, you know, it has to be, you know, because he is one of the best players in the world. Four goals, four matches, one assist. And some of those goals have been really, really good. I mean, taking on players, dribbling, and all that stuff. You know how Messi does it. It's just one of the best at doing that, at dribbling, getting past players. So Messi, number two. But number one is a player that I never expected to be uh, number one. I mean, uh, maybe top five. But number one didn't expect Rodriguez. James Rodriguez. It's not James. It is James Rodriguez. What a revelation in this World Cup. I mean, we all knew he was very good. Uh, plays for Monaco, but 
they didn't think he was actually going to be one of the best in the World Cup, but he is. Four matches, five goals, two assists, and I think he's going to keep on scoring. And I wish Colombia actually goes on to the, the semifinals and wins it all. I mean, I really want Colombia to win it all. I know, I know I said Germany, but for some reason now, Colombia has just got uh, my attention, and I think they're just so good. And Rodriguez... Maybe he doesn't have a lot of pressure on him, but maybe he did bring it. He did bring some of that pressure now because he's been playing so good. Falcao would have been the player with a lot of pressure if he would have been in the World Cup, but now it all fell in the hands, or I should say, the feet of Rodriguez, James Rodriguez. So those, so he's gonna be number one for me right now so far, and I'll be doing this uh, obviously at the end of the World Cup. You know, um, the top five players definitely. You know, uh, overall. But yeah, but that is it for my top five. Give me your top five in the comment section. I would love, love to hear that. Uh, you know, I really want to uh, um, hear your opinion. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.